Hi, my name is Andrea Mitchell. I'm a diamond ambassador. And when one of the top people in the company asks you for your opinion, you decide to stop what you're doing and do a video for her team. Because I think that what Tamara and y'all do is incredible. And if I can add any value, then I am here to help however possible. So what I want to talk to you today about is intentionality with ranking up, setting goals, and hitting those goals. But I want to read a few words to you first. Purpose strategic, calculated, designed, planned, and willing. These are all words that are the same as being intentional, having intentionality, doing something with a purpose. And what I would guess is that your intention each month is to rank up. What I would also guess is that you aren't putting a very good plan together to make that happen. Sometimes life gets in the way. But what I wanna challenge you is, each month, start the month with a goal in mind. Hmm. Let me back that up. Each month, I want you to start with a goal in mind before you ever get started. So what I do is now, the 26th of the month, I will start looking at November. I'll look at what we've done already in October, what I think is possible next month. So for some of you, you are thinking, well, y'all are diamonds, you don't really have to think about it. But don't forget, we are constantly trying to not only grow our own teams, but our re-entry legs if we have them, but help people on our teams grow their positions as well. So I'm gonna give you some examples. If you are trying to hit silver this month, I want you to be intentional about having three people with their convenience order turned on. That is an action, a plan, and you can conquer it before the end of this month so that next month, when their convenience order clears, you go silver. Now, if you are set up to go silver next month, you have three people with their convenience order on, then your plan before November ever starts is to start going for recruiting your 20 people. Because remember, to go gold, we have to have 100 points, which is roughly 20 people. So first, you wanna go ahead and find one of your three people that now have their convenience order on and see if they're willing to go silver. And if they are, help them do the exact same thing that you did. But if they're not, then go out and find more people. Now, I'm gonna say, it's a lot easier if you, one of your 20 people or the next 17 people want to go silver as well. That's the goal. Because the goal is always to find someone who wants to come up alongside you and do this business the same way, with the same intensity that you do. So if you are gold right now and you are going to maintain it. You never, ever, ever, ever want to lose your ring. But if you do, don't even think about just gaining it back. Think about what the next goal is. So if you have had gold at some point and you've dropped back for whatever reason, some people have left your team or you're adding about as fast as and you're losing people because they're not being intentional with the products, then I want to challenge you two things. I want to challenge you to remember to treat your ambassadors as customers. Because until they fall in love and start sharing it, there's a really good chance they're just like every other customer you have. So I want to challenge you to really love on your customers this month, ambassador or preferred. But I also want to challenge you to look for senior gold. What will get you to senior gold? Getting a few people to silver and maybe even getting someone to gold on your team will get you to senior gold. So that should be your goal before November ever starts. Who's going to be my people? Identify them and challenge them, meet with them and say, next month, November, my goal is for you to go gold. Or my goal is to set you up for gold. Now, how do we set up for gold? If you're somewhere between silver and gold, the best thing you can do every month is make sure you hold on to the people you have, and that comes through troubleshooting, convenience orders, and um, tr talking to them on a you know at least a weekly basis during the month. So once you have those established, you're holding on to people, then you're going to go recruit. And you have got to recruit your heart out. You have to challenge people to come do this with you. You know how to do that. You've gone silver. So I just want to challenge you to do the things that you're supposed to do. So let's recap real fast. If you're trying to go silver this month, work on getting three people signed up with their convenience orders on. If you are working towards gold, I want you to not only get people with convenience orders on, but I want you to challenge to have people go silver right alongside you. And then if you are uh, have gained gold and have dropped back a little bit, 
I want to challenge you to have senior gold as your vision, not just regaining gold. Regaining gold will only get you back up a little bit. Focusing on senior gold will go, get you so much further. If you're a Ruby or senior Ruby, these exact same things apply. You All you have to do is hold on to the people you have through troubleshooting, communication, and treating them like a customer, and challenging the people underneath you to reach the exact same ranks we just talked about. Silver and gold are the bread and butter of our business. We love people going silver and gold every single month. So that's the challenge. Set up the next you know, week of this month and get ready to go for November. Do people have convenience orders on? Are they ready to buy products? Are they willing to stick with you for 60 to 90 days? Talk to them. That's going to be the people and they are going to help you get to your next rank and you're going to help them get to their next rank. That's how it works. Hope you'll have a great night.